What's up everyone? I'm Jeff with Creative IT Resources. Thanks for coming here. I really do appreciate it. Certainly without you, I wouldn't have the opportunity to do what I enjoy. So again, thanks for coming to my site. Now I've rebranded the site to include video tutorials and blogging to help you start an online business or to help you improve your online business. So since it's the very first video, what a better way. We're going to go to GoDaddy's site. We're going to create an account. Uh, buy a domain name, buy a hosting package, install WordPress, and set it up with its first basic theme. You can access the show notes by going to creativeitresources.com forward slash tutorial 001. If you want to support me and the site, you can go to uh, my affiliate account for GoDaddy. It's creativeitresources.com forward slash GoDaddy. If you create a new account, you can get 25% off by going to creativeitresources.com forward slash new GoDaddy. So certainly those links will be down in the show notes, but enough with the chit chat. Let's jump in and get started. Okay, we're here at GoDaddy's website, GoDaddy.com, and we're going to buy a domain and set up WordPress. So let's go to the hosting and SSL, then select WordPress site and blog. Let's scroll down to the plans and pricing and talk about these plans for just a moment. So we have starter, business, and pro. We're only going to really talk about these first two. For starter plan, you have a dollar per month for three months or 12 months. That's actually a pretty good deal. If you're just starting something new, that's it's certainly something to think about. Then you could do three forty nine per month for 24 months, which actually doesn't get you the uh, the rate of a dollar per month. So I'd recommend doing the 12 months and then renew at a, at a rate beyond that. But if you're going to do longer term, uh, certainly if you average it out over, let's say, 36 months for 349, uh, that's that's actually a pretty good deal uh, compared to pay, you know paying a dollar per month. So just have to do the math on that one. And of course, we have the business plan, which is 9.99 per month. And uh, let's consider the differences here. So 25,000 monthly visits per month uh, and one website for the starter versus 250,000 visits per month with five websites. So about 1,000 visits per per day is, is a pretty good number. That's a pretty achievable number, uh, maybe within a year or uh, maybe a little over. So it's certainly not overzealous. Now we have the business, which is 250,000. Now let's think about this for a moment. We're not going to consider about the storage. So the storage, if you get large enough, you're going to be putting, want to put your data onto a, a CDN, which is a, a content delivery network. And uh, basically, and we'll talk about that more down the road, but it's optimized for sharing large amounts of information. So documents, image, things like that. You know, that's a little bit off topic. So if we, uh, let's take a look. I have another tab open here. We're going to go to the hosting and go to web hosting. And something I want everybody to think about. Here's the economy plan and here's the deluxe plan. The difference is, is the web hosting for WordPress is pretty much a dedicated environment for WordPress. Here with the web hosting, uh, where you can get the economy deluxe plans, the ultimate plan. You can buy a Linux environment or Windows environment, but we're going to do Linux. You have a little bit more options here. So notice, let's just jump right out of the gates. One website, 100 gigabytes. Okay, we didn't care about the storage. Unlimited bandwidth. That's the 25,000 or 250,000 visits, uh, plus 100 email addresses. Or with the du deluxe plan, you do unlimited websites, unlimited storage, and unlimited bandwidth, 500 email addresses. Uh, these also include a free domain, which we'll get a free domain on the uh, starter package as well if we do a year. But the importance here is the unlimited number, the unlimited number of websites, the unlimited number of bandwidth. So if you're going to come back here and consider the business plan at $9.99 a month, I would actually consider coming back over here and looking at the deluxe plan and... Uh, that way you can kind of capitalize on a few more things. So you'll certainly outgrow this by all means, but it's a good staging area where you can have a, maybe a, a test environment or a, a development environment as you play with different themes for your WordPress site, uh, different plugins, things of that nature so that you're not affecting your production environment. So the economy plan, uh, the only thing that you're getting here is the unlimited bandwidth, which is that 25,000 number. But you're still confined to one website. So actually, I would consider 
the starter package, and then may, perhaps graduating to this deluxe package. Uh, if you have, uh, if you're pretty ambitious and you think you might be doing some other things, then maybe just jump right into the deluxe package. Now notice that this is 50% uh, off, so it's normally I think $8.99 a month. Here we go, $8.99 per month. And you can jump way out, so you can go 36 months, 48 months, it depends on how much you want to spend. The thing about uh, buying way out, so you might feel, okay, well let's say I buy the starter package for, for let's just say for the sake of argument, 36 months. Well, what if at 24 months you're ready to graduate to the next level, perhaps the business plan or to the deluxe? Well, no, you're not stuck to the starter plan. You can actually cancel that plan and then buy or basically buy a new plan that suits your current needs. And GoDaddy recognizes that. GoDaddy uh, wants to provide the ability for people to graduate to the next level. Certainly, it's to their best interest that you have that opportunity. So within your account, you can cancel your plan, but you can also call GoDaddy, cancel your plan, and then you'll get a credit. And then you can use that credit towards your new plan or to uh, renew in your domain name or whatever. So it's important to know that. So don't feel like you're confined to any one particular plan. So the, let's, uh, let's go ahead and add this to the cart. I've kind of beat that one up pretty good. Let's get a domain in here. Okay, here's what we got. We're gonna do the 12 months for a dollar for our starter WordPress package. We have uh, the domain name, citrdemo.com, and uh, for one year, which is uh, free. And then after that, then .coms are, uh, I believe, $12.99 a month currently, and then uh, they're one of the lesser expensive ones. And, and I'll, I'll mention this now too. I've been using GoDaddy for a while and I've been pretty pleased with them actually for quite a while. And the domains names are, or the domain registrations I've noticed are a little bit more than some other places. However, their hosting packages are a little bit better priced. So I tend to favor that a little bit. Plus I like a lot of the flexibility. I, uh, I'm a developer, so I'm canceling and adding, removing plans, trying different things. So uh, just very much similar to what we're doing here. And they're very uh, accommodating for that. And their customer services has been quite well. So um, anyway, I wanted to point that out that, uh, you know, some of the pricing differences maybe with some other people. All right, so we're into this for $12.18. So let's uh, keep the personal information public or we can make it private. Let's talk real quick what that is. I got another tab open here. Let's bring up aweber.com and aweber keeps their information public personally i like to do private and and part of that is is it protects yourself so basically you have a registrar who represents you for your who is information and your information is not out there so tom at aweber is is obviously a aweber person uh, maybe they're real or fictitious but they actually have the phone number here, but if you have private, then a registrar represents you and it is their name, their street address, all their information, their phone number, and their email address. And they basically facilitate any uh, correspondences between you and anybody else. So they really protect you. So that's for your registrant ID, your admin, tech ID, all that information's hidden. Um, so anyhow, AWeber exposes it. Let's go back here, let's continue our purchase. I'm gonna leave this one public. And we don't need anything else, just looking through, making sure we're not missing anything. Let's go ahead and proceed to checkout. And we're gonna do a new account since we're starting from scratch, right? Okay, I'm gonna enter this information in, we'll pause it and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready to place my order. I filled out all the information. And by the way, I wanted to mention that uh, there was a pen in there along with you were setting up your username, your password, and pen. So the username and password, that's pretty obvious. And then the pen you will actually use anytime that you call GoDaddy customer service. They're going to want to know this pin number. And it's basically like a phone-in pin. So that way they can uh, access your information. So they can't access your information until you provide them that pin. And it's literal. 
And uh, so anyhow, just, just a heads up on that. All right, so we are, our, our totals are good. Let's go ahead and place the order. Oh, can't forget to select the uh, terms here. Then go ahead and place the order. All right, the order is a go. And now all we have to do is uh, go up to my account. So we're already logged in. Go to my account and um, let's take a look at visit my account. Yeah, that's uh, not going to worry about that. Okay, let's take a look at our managed WordPress site, new account. Do we get our domain? We really can't do too much more. There we go. So there's our domain. No, no privacy. So crtrdemo.com. Let's go down here to our managed WordPress site. And uh, we'll come back and we'll look at some of this other stuff. So free email forwarding, but uh, no email packages included on this, by the way. All right, let's launch the WordPress hosting package. Let's set this up. Uh, let's create a new WordPress site. I'm gonna select that domain. There we go. And uh, let's do a New WordPress username. I like to, I don't like to use admin, by the way. Uh, and here's an example, and I actually tell you right here, then it becomes obvious. So I like to actually add it with a, um, a prefix. So we'll just say CITR admin, for example. I'm gonna enter in my email address here, and let's create a password. All right, I'm just gonna give it, there we go. And finish, and it should do the install for us. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so while it's running through this, I wanna go ahead and kind of fill you on what we're gonna be doing next. So once this is uh, finished installing, we have a domain and basically it's going to uh, provide a, a blank template. So we'll be able to go out to CITRdemo.com and we'll be, this, be able to see the site. So we'll log in and then the very first thing we'll do is that we will uh, go check out the themes and we'll install a theme so that we don't have that nasty, uh, just kind of blank template that is really kind of um, useless. So uh, once we get that installed, then we'll go back and we'll make just a couple of fine adjustments and make sure that we are limiting our logins, which is important. We want to uh, make sure we're setting uh, our URL so it works correctly. And um, so we'll be looking at a couple of these things to make sure that we are off to a uh, basically a solid start. And then once we kind of get to that, then I'll show you where we can upload or browse more themes, some of the default free themes from wordpress.org. And certainly that'll be in the show notes below and uh, some of these places that you can look at for themes, I'll be, sur I'll be sure to uh, include those links down below for you. All right, here we go, the work is done. Let's go back to the account list. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and bring up citrdemo.com. Let's see what comes up. Okay, well, certainly not ready yet. All right, so that seemed to take a little while. So I just hit uh, F5 and uh, basically restored that. So let's go back to the site here. And I did pause this for a moment because it was taking a little while, surprisingly long. Anyhow, uh, I, I did just refresh the site and here's here's the basic uh, no thrill site. So let's go back to, uh, um, go into our settings here. Let's just take a quick look at this. Here we go, let's, uh, let's make it dub dub dub. So I'm very interested in that. 
There we go. Let's go back into our settings. That is something I, per that's my personal preference is I like to have www.mydomain.com. That's very big deal to me. I do not like uh, the no dub dub dub. I think it just becomes obvious of what it is. You also have the ability to FTP and it uh, looks like this is uh, some information regarding that. So we'll take a look about, at that a little bit later on in another demo. But really this is just kind of generally uh, a look at uh, what what we've got here. So let's go back to the, the domain. We'll say okay. All right. Let's go over here to our site. And let's go wp-admin. And it's going to want our login. Okay, here we are, we're into the uh, site. Let's jump right into our appearance and then we're gonna take a look at themes. And here's the default themes for 2013, 2012, and 2014. Let's go ahead and do the, well, let's do the 2012 theme. Let's take a look at the live preview so you know what that looks like. Basically, it gives you an idea here. Very, very, very basic, very generic. So let's go ahead and go back and all we have to do is activate the theme. Great, it's active. Let's customize a couple things here. We can say uh, a WordPress site here. You can change the title as you can see here. And our, our little tagline colors, you can modify the colors, header image. So I'll leave all that for you to play with. Really, we're just kind of getting our first site going. The next thing that we want to look at is our plugins. And GoDaddy already uh, uh, installs the GoDaddy Quick Setup. Personally, I don't like that. I'm going to deactivate it and remove it. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing with WordPress 101 video tutorials. Uh, you can certainly look at that right here in video tutorials. Uh, I'll leave it activated so that way I can use it to refer back to. Otherwise, uh, I would just simply delete it. Now let's uh, add one more uh, plugin. Let's do add new. And I like limit login. And this will all be in the notes again. Let me log in attempts. Let's activate that plugin. We'll go with its default settings and um, basically, if we go into limit login attempts, we're gonna allow four retries and then after four tries, it locks you out for 20 minutes. So really we don't want someone uh, doing a brute force attack onto our site. That's the first thing I like to do. Now, the next thing I want to do is change the permalink so we can manage our URLs. And my personal preference, and this is up to you, but I like using the post name. And I do not like having the, the dates in the URL. It just gets confusing when you start referring people back to it. Granted, you have the opportunity to uh, conflict with names, but uh, using this approach, but it becomes a lot easier to share URLs with people. Anyhow, that's it. Let's go take a look here at our site. We go up here to CRTU demo, visit the site, and here is our demo site. Thanks again, guys, for coming by. I do appreciate it. Hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to go to creativeitresources.com forward slash tutorial 001 for the show notes. I'll have all the links and everything included in there. Also, for the uh, GoDaddy, you can go to creativeitresources.com forward slash GoDaddy. Anyhow, I hope you, uh, again, found that helpful. You can expect in the future I'm going to have some more videos regarding uh, WordPress in a little bit more detail. We're going to be looking at multiple sites with various domains. And then we'll consider also the various packages that uh, GoDaddy offers. So we'll take those, look at those in a little bit more detail. Anyhow, thanks again, guys. Hope you have a great one. Bye.